Number 27. A 1.8 kilogram falcon catches a 0.65 kilogram dove from behind in midair. What is their velocity after impact if the falcon's velocity is initially 28 meters per second and the dove's velocity is 7 meters per second in the same direction? All right, so this is an impact problem, right? It's a collision. You got to ask yourself, is it inelastic or elastic? Remember, inelastic collisions involve the object sticking together after the collision, and elastic collisions involve the object separating after the collision. So they said that the falcon catches the bird, and they're asking, what is their velocity? Right, so it sounds like they're going to be together, so this is an inelastic collision problem. Now, I'm going to just go right into the formula. I actually mentioned this in the last question that this is probably how I'm going to approach these problems from here on out because we've developed now the ideas fully in several, several questions. So if you want a little insight into how I came up with this formula, see any of the prior maybe six or seven videos, especially the one before, definitely 26. All right. Um, so here's the formula. Um, the Momentum of the first object, excuse me, the mass of the first object times the velocity of the first object plus, plus the mass of the second object multiplied by the velocity of the second object divided by the mass of the first plus the mass of the second will equal the final velocity, okay? So this is the um, inelastic collision formula to solve for the final velocity, okay? And maybe I could have taken this a step back, meaning maybe I could have started it with this uh, being equal to the, let's say the total mass multiplied by the final velocity. Maybe, I, maybe I'll start here, all right? This would be, basically this is uh, P1 plus P2 equals P total, okay? So uh, now to find the final velocity, right, we have to divide out the total mass from both sides, and that's where we now come up with M1 V1 uh, plus, see, <laughs> I went right to equals. I was gonna do M1 V1 equals M2 V2 for all you chemistry people out there, because I just did chemistry right before. Um, not, not on the videos, my sister's doing the videos, but I was helping a student and, um, you know, you have the molarity equations there. I'm one V1 equals M2 V2. So my apologies if I start to, uh, if I, if I start to write that in here, you'll know why. All right. So this is M1 plus M2. That's equal now the final velocity. And now all we have to plug in, right? So let's, uh, let's take the first object to be the Falcon. The mass of the Falcon was 1.80 kilograms. And that Falcon was uh, initial velocity of 28 meters per second. Then the Dove, right, was had a mass of 0 0.650 kilograms. And its initial velocity in the same direction, therefore the signs of the velocities of the Falcon here and the Dove here will be the same. So that's 7.00, all divided by the total mass, so 1.80 plus 0 0.650. And that's equal to the final velocity. So now basically all we have to do is just plug it in, right? I love these type of problems. I'm sure you do too. So 1.8 times 28 plus 0.65 times 7, all divided then by 1.8 plus 0.65, works out to be a value of 22.4, right? 22.4 meters per second, and it's positive. They're moving still in the same direction as before. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. That'd be awesome. It definitely helps us out tremendously. And um, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button too. Uh, that would be great. I'd appreciate it so very much. And uh, I really do hope you are finding these videos helpful. Thank you and take care.